Hi, do you want to go outdoors and paint and you're wondering what's the best way, the most compact way to take everything you might need out in the field with you? Well, as a lifelong artist and an avid outdoor painter, I feel like I've experienced almost every item and piece of equipment they've come up with for artists to take with them out in the field. I'd like to go ahead and weigh in on that subject today and show you what I've determined to be the best way to carry the most amount of items out in the field and have a successful day plein air painting. So let's go ahead and take a look. So as important items to take with you in the field goes, there are some things that are negotiable and some things that are non-negotiable. I only take things that are non-negotiable. That being said, uh, first thing I want to show you is a really super functional backpack. So this is a backpack that I found that I love. Um, I don't get anything for advertising them. Uh, I'm happy to speak freely about them. What I love about this is the fact that um, I can carry it with a handle this way. I can carry it with a handle on either end and uh, it lays flat on the ground. So it's not like a backpack that's in an upright position and you have to reach in and dig and dig. I can lay this down flat and I open it up. I've got zippers on either side. I open it up and I can really super easily access everything in my backpack. I love that about this. Okay, you're gonna be surprised. Uh, because there's so many items out there as far as, um, uh, you know, that you can buy to take with you. You can have a wet panel carrier, you can have your, like your iPad size, um, you know, box that sits on the tripod, then you have a bag of your paints, you have your, your brushes, and um, seriously, in all my experience, every time I, I added all of those items, what I found was that they weighed as much, if not more, than what I'm gonna show you right now. This is old school, get ready for it. And I'm gonna tell you why I love it. This is my Prashad box. And you can see it's been everywhere with me. I paint outdoors a lot, as I mentioned. Uh, what I love about this is that sometimes I'm somewhere where there's just rocks and there is nowhere to set up my tripod and be able to um, you know, paint in that fashion. As long as there's a rock I can sit on, this becomes a lap easel. I often paint in the car. A lot of people know that I'm a, I, I, I paint uh, while my husband drives. And so that's really, uh, this is super efficient that I can just grab it out of my pack and have it on my lap. When I open this up, it's everything all in one. Why reinvent the wheel, I, I, I sometimes feel. Okay, so. I have wet panel carrier. This holds two wet panels. Uh, I selected the size 9 by 12. That's what I like to paint when I'm out in the field. Um, so that's holding two of those. And then, let me just move this forward. I have my palette here. Um, I have all of my, my paints in here, my paint colors. I paint with eight colors, I take eight colors in the field, and I have all my brushes that I need, plus extras, palette knives. I have little bags that I attach to the side of the easel with a clothespin that is for all of my garbage. Uh, I did attach a little string on the front. I carry a roll of to toilet paper because it's small, it's compact, it's also multi-purpose, if you know what I mean. Um, I even have in here business cards, I have my sunscreen, my chapstick, and a ruler, value scale, everything in here, easy peasy. When I finished a painting session, I can just go ahead and close it up, throw it in this backpack, and no need for, uh, you know, 10 other items that just to add weight. And my big thing is how compact, how efficient and lightweight can I experience my painting? The other thing that's in here, as I mentioned, I've got the toilet paper in here that's very compact. And 
even if I'm holding it under my arm, it's more comfortable sometimes than a bulky roll of paper towels. I've got uh, OMS. I put that on the carabine or on the tripod. Um, I also do have a small uh, uh, carrying bottle for any that I just want to put into um, the push off box. And this is a super collapsible, super lightweight tripod. Got a couple carabiners on there. I weight it down with this backpack if winds pick up. Okay, again, another non negotiable item. So, tripod, everything I've showed you so far. The last item that I'm going to show you that I consider non negotiable is an umbrella for out in the field. And I attach this with these little rubber bungees that I picked up just at the home improvement store. And in here is my umbrella. So it's pretty lightweight, but absolutely necessary. Have you ever found yourself, you may find yourself at some point, out on location somewhere where there's absolutely no shade and you are baking and you don't want that to happen. It's also not good to have your um, palette and your canvas exposed to full on sun your colors won't come out right it'll be a challenge and no reason to go through that so that's everything i take out in the field uh, if you found this helpful i hope that you'll hit the like button i hope you'll subscribe and i'll always be trying to come back with some important useful information for you